today we have a booty routine that you can do at home. And that's right, you can get nice round booty at home. So you can do this routine with your body weight, but I really recommend you to use some ankle weights. I have the 2.5 kilos on here. There's heavier ones and those are better in my opinion. And also you can use some resistance band and they're both different as well. So this routine is definitely going to leave your booty sore the next day, but if it's not, then you're probably not squeezing your butt high enough. <laughs> so if you're not squeezing hard enough or if your ankle weight's too light, your resistance band is too elastic or what else? Or if you're just flapping your legs around, not really focusing on your muscle. So mind muscle connection is very important when it comes to growing muscles. And also your diet. If you want to get a nice booty, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. Shameless self promo. And also my Instagram page is while I'm at it. <laughs> I can't do this guys. Let's just do the workout. Yep. Today we have six exercises, 50 seconds for each leg and one minute rest time after you finish both legs. I've given a bit more rest time because it's going to burn if you use enough resistance or weight and you're definitely gonna want that one minute to rest before your next exercise. But if you're new to the routine, you can try it with your body weight first. The first exercise is rainbow leg lifts. This is pretty much drawing a rainbow with your leg. Pretty self-explanatory. Don't arch your back by keeping your core tight. Basically tense your core muscles and also engage your glutes while lifting up your legs. And this helps to build the roundness on your booty. Now that we're done with one leg, you gotta do the other side too. Unless you wanna have one side of your glute bigger than the other. That can be sexy too. Who knows? Okay, next exercise is glute kickbacks. You can either do it in a high plank position with your palm on the ground or in a low plank which is resting your elbows on the mat. Do whichever you prefer. So this exercise is really great for upper glutes. Remember to engage your glutes and your core. The key to grow muscle is muscle-mind connection. So you gotta think about the muscle that you're working on and then you smash it. Smash those muscles real hard.
Okay, we're done with one side. Let's move on to the other side. Next is fire hydrant. Keep your knee bent and bring your leg to the side, like a dog taking a piss, basically. Very sexy, I know. <laughs> so this exercise works on the side of your booty, and my booty are always burning so bad after doing this exercise. So make sure your weights are challenging enough. If any of this workout does not burn, then you're probably not thinking about the muscles that you're working on. Okay, we're done with this side and now let's show some love to the other side. Next, we have leg raise with pulses. Raise your leg up and lower it down slowly. And at the last 10 seconds, do little pulses on top. Remember to engage your core and keep your back neutral. You don't want to hurt your back.
are done with one side and let's move on to the other side. Next, we have clams. Keep your knee bent and rest your body on the ground. If you like to, you can rest your head on the mat too. Then spread your knees apart. And I'm also using a resistance band here too. Um, you can start with body weight first if this is hard. Um, and then you can add resistance band next time. And this exercise really activates the side of your glutes. Try it guys. Now let's do the other side too. The last exercise we have here is elevated glute bridge. You can also do a regular glute bridge, but it is not as challenging. Um, so I've used a bossa ball here. You can always use a cushion or a basketball or a medicine ball if you have that, a box or just something to get some elevation and make sure it's safe. Um, yeah, so lie on the ground with your knees bent with feet either on the ground or on the ball. Lift your hips off the ground until your knees, your hips, shoulders form a straight line. Then squeeze your glutes. Hold it for 2 seconds, then bring your hips back down.
So that's pretty much it. Do this two more times. I'll personally do this totaling four times if you want to get results. So if you're not sore the next day, then you know you haven't tried hard enough or you haven't squeezed your butt enough or your weight is too light or you're too used to the routine. It's probably a sign that you have to increase your ankle weight. Um, some ankle weights have adjustable weights, so try to get those. You can get up to 5 kilos or 10 kilos. Okay guys, so let's do the second round and I won't be doing any more voiceover. Remember to keep your back neutral, your core tight and squeeze your ass.
workout guys, I'll personally do two more rounds to complete the workout. Just repeat the video one more time. Anyway, that's it. Kill it guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!